Hey guys, Javert here for HitFilm. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the geometry effects in the latest version of HitFilm Pro to recreate the titles from Black Panther. Let's jump right into the software and get started. You can download the project files for this title from the link in the description. In a new composite shot, the first thing we'll do is create a text layer. I'll make the width the same as the comp itself and hit OK. Come up and select the text tool, click inside the box, and type the title. I'm going to use two different text layers for this, even though I could do it in one. This will give me more control over the spacing of the words. Center that in the paragraph section of the text panel. For the word black, I use the copperplate bold font and set the size to 300, with the character spacing to negative 10 to bring the letters closer together. For the word panther, I used a font called Wolfsbane 2, which you can find in the description and project files. Increase the size to fit your project. I'll make the middle letters a bit smaller. Select both layers and duplicate them. I'll add the word outline to each so that I can distinguish them. Highlight both of the original text layers and make them into their own composite shot. Once again, choose the text tool and highlight one of the words. In the text panel, click this box and choose a color for your outline. I'll go with a darker yellow-orange. Raise the value in this field to see the changes. Set the color of the text itself to a golden yellow. Do the same with the other words in your title. Now we can add the geometry effects. Select the extrude effect from the controls panel and drop down the settings. Set the depth to 200 and change the face so that the extrusion only comes out of the back. Add the same effect to the first word. You might want to lessen the extrusion since it's a smaller title, but that's up to you. Set the layers to 3D. Next, we'll add in this picture of storm clouds on top of everything. Add the set matte effect to this layer. In the controls panel under source layer, select the plain text composite shot from earlier. The clouds will conform to the alpha channel of the text and appear as the face of the title. Now it's time to add some more detail. Create a new light and pull it forwards in the viewer. Lower the intensity so that it doesn't affect the color of the outline too much. Make another light and change the type to ambient. This will fill in the darker areas and make it more even. Start at zero and raise it until it looks good. For both outline layers, turn on receives and casts ambient occlusion. This will add shadows in the parts of the text that realistically should have them, like in the corners. Let me turn off the cloud layer real quick here. Add the chrominator effect to one of your outline layers. Turn the detail scale down to something more subtle, around 4 or 5. I'll add a very slight blur. Then copy this effect and apply it to the other word. Create a new grade layer. Add the parallax effect, and you should see it take hold immediately. Adjust the depth until it fits your scene. The lines on the word panther are not part of the font. I had to add them there myself. Create a new plane if you don't have one already. Add the neon path effect to it, and set the blend mode to screen. Select the freehand mask tool and click to create a line in the letter P. Leave the mask open and switch back to the selection tool. 
When you click off, you should see that the neon path has taken effect. It's using the mask to draw the line. In the controls panel, raise the start width and turn off the glow. In the core settings, change the color to match the golden edge. What I ended up doing was duplicating the mask numerous times and placing them all across the letters. I drew a new curved one for the P and the R at the end. The main things you're going to want to tweak now are the position of the lights, the parallax, and the chrominator effect. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Subscribe and hit the bell icon, and I'll see you all in the next video.